We don't ask for this. We don't go out looking for this. But I'm not going to turn my back on folks just because I'm, I'm getting the impression it's going to make a department head angry. Multiple complaints from Pender County Health Department employees led commissioners to ask for an investigation. Last month, I spoke with several employees. They asked to remain anonymous for fear of losing their jobs. Their complaints ranged from endangering patients' lives to creating a hostile work environment. Management um, evidently chose to either turn their head or um, not document it. The Board of Health conducted an investigation to find out if there was any drug use within the health department. But because there was no documentation, Director Jack Griffith said the department did not perform drug tests. Griffith declined an on-camera interview, but he did say, there is no Medicaid fraud, no drug use, and there is training. Next, questions arose about several members of the Board of Health. Despite the policy of county commissioners, two members of the Board of Health have served more than the 10-year limit. County commissioners made an exception for Roberta Bost and Judy Blanchard because it can be hard to find people to fill the positions. But due to some confusion, there was no advertising around the time the positions were set to open up. If the positions were not advertised and there were individuals willing to serve, I think we should take a second look at that. Griffith says trying to unseat members from the Board of Health is just an attempt to remove him from the health department. He says, if they can get rid of the people that support me, what are they going to do next? Get rid of me. Since then, we have received letters from Dr. Griffith to members of the Board of Health and county commissioners. In one of the letters, Griffith says the health department received daily assaults from Commissioner Brown. It definitely is not true. Brown responded to the claims in a letter to the county attorney. In it, he says, I am personally attacked and falsely accused once again by Dr. Griffith. This trend of behavior has greatly concerned me. Maybe it's the same type of retaliation that I'm hearing about from some of these employees. Then there was another letter. I received a letter from Dr. Griffith that came to my house. It was addressed to several individuals, board members, uh, board of health members, county commissioners. Um, and in that letter, he made a statement in which he, in my opinion, released information about one of my family members. That information related to treatment a family member received at the health department. In the letter, Dr. Griffith says he met Commissioner Brown at the back of the health department. The fact that he said he met me at the back door, it is not true. I never even saw Dr. Griffith that day. Brown says he never received special treatment and was very upset information about his family member was released. It was degrading, it was insulting, and it was embarrassing. And it may have been against the law. According to the Department of Health and Human Services, the privacy law gives you rights over your health information and sets rules and limits on who can look at and receive your health information. Dr. Griffith told us, I said what I said in the letter. I spoke to a person from HIPAA and they told me there is no violation of confidentiality.